In this video, I will give a short summary uh, of the longer video that will be available uh, next Saturday. And I will talk uh, about the role of hormones. So, and this is, I believe, important uh, to understand what it is uh, because there is a lot of advertisement uh, that uh, hormone replacement therapy may, may decelerate your aging, etc. So, again, uh, this uh, summary was prepared with ChatGPT, and uh, so it is a little bit bumpy. So I recommend you to download full presentation from the link in the description. You will get PDF file, you will get access to the source of information and make your own research. I just um, uh, remind you that I'm not specialist medical uh, in medicine. Uh, I am not professional uh, uh, medical doctor. I am doctor in physics and mathematics. So, but I do this research for all my own benefits. And my opinion is very much different from the uh, opinion of medical professionals and also people working in uh, this research on aging. So again, uh, I believe that uh, I do it right, And uh, but okay, you can do your own opinion, you, you can do your own research and decide what works for you. It's not medical recommendation. So, okay, let's uh, start from this uh, short summary. So this part of presentation emphasizes the complexity of hormone-related interventions for sarcopenia. While testosterone and selective androgen receptor modulators, <coughs> so-called SAM, uh, uh, considered important, the role of progesterone and DHEA uh, remains unclear. It suggests that short-term or intermittent uh, uh, testosterone replacement therapy and SRM, this uh, Androgen receptor, uh, selective androgen receptor modulators may hold promise, but their safety and effectiveness uh, lack sufficient evidence for FDR approval in managing sarcopenia. The decline of testosterone levels in aging um, men highlights associated issues like decreased libido, cognitive decline, and increased fat mass. This, there is a connection between testosterone, obesity, and metabolic factors. Testosterone replacement therapy is presented as a treatment outlining both its positive effects on mood, energy, cardiovascular health, and its potential side effects uh, such as prostate disorders and heart problems. Selective uh, SARM uh, are alternative to TAT to testosterone replacement therapy without unwanted side effects. Also, I should discuss the controversial role of growth hormone replacement therapy and the potential influence of other hormones like DHEA and thyroid hormones on preventing sarcopenia. Okay, this I will give you just an uh, idea uh, that uh, actually uh, if you check uh, medical uh, uh, scientific literature, you will see that testosterone level is not dropping, despite the, uh, the common opinion that testosterone level drops in, uh, in age, with age, it is not so. It's actually uh, the, the side effects of uh, low uh, consumption of meat and fat, uh, fatty meat, and uh, uh, and also compromised um, uh, digestibility of meat in uh, all the uh, uh, all the people because uh, acidity of gastric juice is dropping, but not it is not natural. Testosterone stays uh, quite high, but uh, from person to person it, it can be different. So you see here the again testosterone uh, doesn't drop. If it drops a little bit, it is again related, in my opinion, to uh, reduce consumption of uh, animal fat and the meat in in the older age. Okay, again, doesn't drop much, but there are uh, personal variations between uh, low level and high level. It depends on on your diet or it depends on your health. So, so you can use some people use. Uh, Testosterone replacement therapy uh, and the special bodybuilders to grow muscles, it works okay, but uh, consequences for longevity can be disastrous. So it's again, uh, you have to think twice. It gives, it gives, if you have optimal uh, testosterone, uh, then you, your body is much different. You are not obese, you're healthy. But again, uh, it is uh, the low testosterone is the consequence, in my opinion, the, that you will not, you are not getting enough of uh, the cholesterol from uh, animal fat and this. Uh, but if you change to car carnivore diet and consume animal fats, every, you will change your body. So it is not uh, natural. Uh, to drop, uh, to uh, to reduce uh, level of testosterone in the body with age, and it is not so. Okay, so nevertheless, it is much advertisement. Uh, there are much advertised uh, this uh, therapy, 
and uh, there, there is one guy who uh, making money on it this uh, his uh, pictures in age of 84 and 57 i would not say that in age of 84 he looks uh, very much uh, healthier okay my my father <clears throat> in his age uh, was well it's uh, almost the same uh, without a testosterone uh, replacement therapy and again here i would not say he's uh, just amazingly healthy and you see all signs of aging in him so it is testosterone and also he used uh, growth hormone uh, replacement therapy yeah, I, I don't think it is good idea to use this uh, hormone uh, replacement therapy okay then again uh, but SARM maybe it has some promise and many bodybuilders use it so maybe it, it needs more research I, do, I don't have personal experience and actually I uh, but as, as I see many advertisements probably it is a good idea to check how it works uh, but f at least for young people it works it works but uh, it has some side effects but again side effects are not so big in uh, as in a case of testosterone replacement therapy well i use personal i use this uh, growth hormone uh, injections and it didn't help me uh, absolutely didn't help me and it is uh, also uh, uh, this my experience correlates with uh, scientific research which demonstrated that injections of growth hormone therapy may work for younger people but for in my age it is useless it is a waste of money i paid money and it is very expensive but again no result at all absolutely nothing so meanwhile dhea dhea and uh, again it is uh, dhea it's uh, may help may help but i when i i, I started to use this dhea uh, i was on ketogenic diet i didn't uh, get enough uh, that's uh, cholesterol from uh, animal fat so that time in the beginning of my change to ketogenic diet I used DHA and it helped, it helped. but then when I already uh, uh, got, uh, uh, got uh, uh, that's to ketogenic diet and already everything working well I didn't see any improvement so again so DHEA, it is uh, can help, or, but it is all produced from from cholesterol. From cho if you have enough of cholesterol, you can produce DHEA. So it's again you get DHEA, and for DHEA you can get the sex hormones, no problem at all. So just uh, do right things, eat eat uh, follow carnivore diet, maybe with some more uh, supplements, and uh, I will talk about this in, in next videos. But again, uh, it's nothing. I mean, if you do it right, you will not uh, have big benefits. It's worth money. Uh, also, uh, progesterone, um, it is, uh, well, I discussed in my older video that in, uh, supplements with progesterone, even this, it, it, is, it, is, it has no evidence that it helps. Okay, then again, uh, you can uh, try on your body, maybe it will work uh, for you better than me, but again, uh, I, what I should say, despite this uh, drop in uh, growth hormone with age, this is true, the growth hormone drops, but again, the reason why it drops, I believe it's something else, it is not uh, some genetic or predisposed drop, uh, I don't understand yet quite well why it drops, Probably it is related to this uh, cross-linking of uh, these collagen fibers and uh, then again uh, somehow uh, the generation of your this, this, uh, tissues uh, related to growth hormone reduction uh, really so. But what you can do again, if you, uh, if you uh, sleep well, then you can increase uh, growth hormone production, natural production, just because you sleep well and you do uh, follow a good schedule you go sleep uh, soon after sunset and uh, then you sleep well so it is again maybe not a good idea to use this supplements okay but you see it's quite uh, i give many references uh, and uh, you can read you can decide for yourself again my opinion is uh, so i'm quite pessimistic you may try you may try especially if you are uh, not, not, not adapted well to ketogenic and the carnivore diet, maybe it will help you, but, but in general, not much. Okay, that's all. Uh, please watch a longer video, which will be available next Saturday. Take care. Ciao, ciao.